to mask or not to mask? That is the question. Good evening. I'm Paula Evans. And I'm Lisa Hughes. Not everyone is thrilled that people no longer are wearing masks on planes, trains, buses, and ride shares. And we wanted to know, if you're the only one wearing a mask, will you be protected? WBZ's Brandon Truitt got some answers. I know other people have different opinions on it. It's become a debated topic from the dinner table to the tea. But this week, people are getting to make the choice to mask or not in places they haven't in over a year. We spent the day at a few tea stops in downtown. Most of the riders we spoke with say they're going to continue to wear their masks. Some admit it's just habit at this point. Everyone has their own decision. And so they just, some decide to keep theirs off and some decide to keep theirs on. And for you? And for me, I'm keeping them on. Okay. <laughs> you know, I understand other people, you know, safety and precautions, but I feel personally that I've been wanting to get back to normal for a long time. But what if you're wearing a mask around people who aren't? It's known as one-way masking, and we took questions on efficacy to Dr. Sabrina Asumu. So I would say that you do have um, a lot of protection if you wear a high-quality mask, although we would rather have everyone masking around you also. The CDC put this to the test, finding the type of mask worn in a public setting determines your level of protection. A cloth mask makes you about 56% less likely to test positive than people who didn't wear one. Put on a KN95 or higher and your chances of getting the virus drop by 83%. If you're vaccinated and boosted um, and you're wearing a high quality mask on the T, I think that you've taken steps to make sure that you're protecting yourself as much as possible. Leaving commuters like Bob Peabody happy to have the choice to adjust when needed. I'm vaccinated, et cetera, so, but I think it's added protection and in close quarters, as I said, I think uh, wearing a mask makes sense. In Boston, Brandon Truett, WBZ News.